Hey there guys, how are you? So we waited a long time for a good Jurassic Park sequel, and was the movie worth the wait? Well, before we talk about that, here's a random clip of me running away from a T-Rex in the woods. Here it goes. Ah! That clip right there cost six million dollars and was directed by Steven Spielberg in my backyard two years ago. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> Alright, so Jurassic World, what is it all about? Well, the theme park has finally opened. And years after being open to the public, attendance is down. Yeah, people are just tired of seeing dinosaurs. And I didn't really buy into that. Even though the movie does explain it, I still don't buy into that. Here's why. Now as a society, we can all go to the zoo anytime we want to. We can see giraffes, lions, all kinds of crazy weird shit and elephants too. And I've been going to the zoo ever since I was a kid, and every time I go, I'm still amazed by a giraffe. Have you ever really looked at a giraffe? Fucking crazy, man. It's a dinosaur. You won't get tired of seeing a dinosaur. Attendance would always be up. We're only one minute into this review and I'm already nitpicking, but it's because I love the original Jurassic Park so much. So to keep attendance up, what do they do? Well, the Jurassic Park scientists create a new dinosaur. Yeah, because every time they have a new attraction, attendance spikes. And that's why they create the Indominus Rex. Pretty much the most deadly dinosaur you could ever create in a test tube. And then you guessed it, a lot of bad shit happens and people get eaten. And it was a pretty good time. Alright, let's all just calm down for a second. And before we continue talking about this movie, let's first talk about the other movies in the franchise. Is this movie better than the first movie? Not even close. There was just something a little bit magical and mystical about that first movie. Now is this movie better than the second movie? I would say no. I still like the second Jurassic Park movie better than this movie. And is Jurassic World better than Jurassic Park 3? Yes, it's a lot better than Jurassic Park 3. Because to make a worse movie than Jurassic Park 3, well, you'd have to have a movie starring Nicolas Cage in a rubber dinosaur suit running around killing people. That's the only way that you can make a worse sequel than Jurassic Park 3. Hmm. And by the way, on a side note, thinking about that, I would like to see that movie. Hollywood, please make that movie. I need it. Now, this movie stars Chris the Star-Lord Pratt as the character of Owen. He's a guy who wrangles and trains velociraptors, and he has a background in the Navy. So I'm not quite sure how he got that gig, but either way, yeah, I liked Chris Pratt in this movie, and Chris Pratt's just a likable, down-to-earth guy. So him as a character in this movie, I bought into it, and he's pretty much the most interesting character throughout the entire film. Now, Chris Pratt's character in this movie is the only person in the movie who has common sense, charisma, and charm, and he's also a badass at times, because every other character in this movie, they don't have common sense, and they were written terribly. They just, you don't like anybody else in this movie, and every time they try to make you like these people, you're just like, I want to see a dinosaur eat that person. Yeah. Fuck you! And also in this movie, we have actress Bryce Dallas Howard, who plays the character of Claire. She's like a director of the park's operations, and she's addicted to her job. And she's pretty much a very cold and sterile character, and you don't really like anything about her. She's just one of those chicks that if you ever met in person, you're just like, what is wrong with you? Her character is just extremely unlikable, and they try to give her character an arc throughout the movie. By the end of it, you're like, yeah, she's taking care of business, and now we might like her. But for me personally, I just wanted to see Velociraptors tear her body apart the entire movie. <sighs> Did that get a little bit dark right there? But yeah, I just that's how I felt about 90% of the characters in this movie. I wanted to see dinosaurs just eat them. And that right there is my biggest problem with Jurassic World. The movie doesn't contain enough likable, charismatic characters for you to really get attached to and care about. You're just like, I don't really care what happens to them. I want the dinosaurs to win. And with all that said, I think it's only fair to compare this movie to the original movie because it is a sequel in the same franchise. And when you go back to the original movie, you had a lot of likable characters, especially like Jeff Goldblum's character, Dr. Ian Malcolm. And you know, this movie just doesn't contain enough of those likable characters because in the original movie, yeah, it was cool to see dinosaurs and all the special effects, but it was also very intriguing to see the character moments. And in this movie, it does throw a lot of special effects and dinosaurs at you, but all the other moments containing characters, you're just like, I'm bored, let's go back to the CGI dinosaurs. But like I said a few seconds ago, every time a dinosaur is on screen, especially the Indominus Rex, it's pretty exciting, it's really cool. I thought the CG was pretty well done throughout the movie. Now at times it does feel a little bit overly CG'd, and what I mean by that is, Sometimes you have a scene where it could have really utilized a practical effect to make the, the scene feel like it has more weight to it. I thought the main badass dinosaur of the movie, the Indominus Rex, awesome to see him eat people alive. And this movie, surprisingly, is more graphic than I expected it to be for a PG-13 movie. So that's always a plus. And I really enjoyed a lot of scenes containing the Velociraptors. At times it was really intense to see them running around with Chris Pratt while he's on a motorcycle. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And by the way, speaking of the Velociraptors, that brings me to my next point about this movie. This movie contains way too many subplots 
that are just convoluted and unnecessary. Now let me give you an example, and this doesn't really spoil anything, but in this movie, there is somebody who wants to utilize Velociraptors for military applications. Yeah, they want to take Velociraptors into battle. That's a subplot in this movie. You just heard me right. It's pretty stupid. And at times the movie does have a lot of plot holes that I just really couldn't overlook. They weren't very subtle. I wasn't trying to be nitpicky, but it's just a lot of dumb scenes in this movie that could have been tweaked a little bit to have been better than they were. Here's what I'm talking about. Once again, this isn't a spoiler. It's just a minor thing that happens in the movie that doesn't really affect the story or plot whatsoever. So it's not a spoiler. Calm down, everybody. Now, there's one scene in this movie where the Indominus Rex gets loose, and they send this tactical team after the dinosaur to take it down, I guess. So what do they do? Well, this tactical team of badasses, they run after the dinosaur with little electric shockers. Like, what was their plan? To shock it, then put a leash on it, and walk it back to its cage? Now, I guess the purpose of that scene was to be really intense and show how badass the Indominus Rex was. But for me, that just showed how dumb and lazy the script for the movie was. Here's what could have made that scene better. Had this tactical team showed up with tranquilizer darts, you know, something that might actually work to take down the dinosaur, or they showed up with vehicles that had a huge cage on the back with maybe claws to grab the dinosaur and put in the cage. But no, they just show up in a couple Jeeps with little shockers. And you're just like... How were they not supposed to die? And the movie contains a lot of scenes just like that that don't feel very well thought out. And I know it sounds like I'm complaining about the movie, but you know, at times it just really felt like if they tweaked just a few things in this movie, it would have been a much better movie. All right, so here are my final flicking thoughts on Jurassic Road. Overall, this movie's an entertaining, solid blockbuster summer action popcorn movie. Every time you see a dinosaur up on the big screen, you will be entertained. It's enjoyable to look at. So Jurassic World. Overall, this is an okay sequel. At times, it was highly entertaining. At other times, you're just going to be like, I don't care what's happening. Show me some more dinosaurs. So overall, I'm going to give this movie a Velociraptor uppercut of a B-. And once again, let's all just be thankful it was better than Jurassic Park Part 3. So as far as Jurassic World goes, I would say it was a pretty decent movie. Now, would I like to see future installments in this franchise? Yeah, I just hope that they tweak a few things and give us more compelling human characters. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, guys, so that's my take on Jurassic World. Now, here's my question to you. Let me know down below. What would you guys think about the movie Jurassic World? Or what would you guys like to see happen in a future sequel to this movie? Like, where would you like them to go? What would you like them to do? If it was up to me, well, put Jeff Goldblum back in the movie and um, make him ride a T-Rex at some point. That's a fantasy of mine. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.